We've all heard horror stories of kids who've shared a photo with someone and suddenly it shows up on social media. This can happen to you and within your family, but how can you get it removed from the internet? Are there options? Paul Davis is with us, a social networking safety educator who goes from school to school working with students and parents to work on such issues. Good morning to you. Good morning. This is a hot topic and uh, you know within the realm of cyberbullying this is a main concern for parents, but mm -hmm. on top of that uh, photos being shared. So what right. is the lesson that you're teaching kids and parents? Well, we've all been told, <coughs> excuse me, Think before you post. Mm -hmm. Easier said than done. And I follow a discipline being in IT for so long, which is never go from your emotions to your fingertips. Meaning, if you take that picture, pause for a second and think, where am I posting it to or who am I sending it to? Right. Because if I send it from my device to your device, I'm never getting it back. That's the bad news of this conversation. Right. Once it lands in your device, I can't recall it. You can't call your telephone company and say, I mistakenly sent them a DM picture. Can I get it back? Yes. So it's gone. Now, when you post it up online, what happens? Well, there are a few options. <clears throat> if you post it up to social media, you have the ability to remove it. If in that time that it's been posted, someone decides they want to right-click and save it, they own it. Right. If they want to take a screenshot of it, they now have a copy of the picture. Okay. There's also the search engines, which once your picture is up for a, per a certain period of time, I believe it starts around 48 hours, mm. search engines like Google will start crawling it, meaning they'll index it in a Google Images database. Mm -hmm. What can you do? Well. You can actually go to Google, open up an account, and say, Google, I don't want that picture in your database. They will find out where it came from. If the image is still accessible, they're not going to approve your request. If you went to your Facebook page, your blog post, and you deleted the image, mm. Google will then say, hey, wait a minute, that image isn't there anymore. I'll now remove it from the database. So you can work. Now, that's what you're in control of. Right. What happens if your friend posts a picture of you on their social media account and it got indexed by a search engine? Well, what you have to do is you have to call your friend and say, I need you to remove that image, please. Yes. And then once they've done that, go to Google or a search engine and say, can you please remove that image? It's no longer there. Right. So you do have options, but you have to take control of it. So you may want to Google yourself every couple of months and see what pops up. Right. And hopefully that friend is on your side and willing to remove the photo. That's part of the concern. Okay. Now, right. are there legal ramifications? Can the law protect you in terms of um, ownership and your own photos of your own image? Well, I would suggest that depends on the lawyer you retain. Right. Uh, if, the, if the picture um, contributes to defamation of character, if it's been manipulated, yes. Mm. If it's a picture that was posted up from uh, vacation, no. Okay. Because, you know, I mean, the reality is it's out there. You, you can work to get around it. So unless it's hurt you, I wouldn't seek any legal advice or call a police officer. Okay, so there's no way to hide those photos from the search engine. They're permanently out there. Correct, because when you post a picture on a social network, it's still a static page, and search engines like Google will, will do what's called crawling it. Mm -hmm. So they'll crawl the image, they'll see that it's there, and then they'll bring it back into the database. You can remove it. Mm -hmm. You can also, if you run a blog, you can say, hey, Google, I don't want you indexing my pictures. Right. But that doesn't prevent people from taking screenshots. So once something is posted, people do have the ability to say, I can't download it. I'm going to take a, a shot of the whole screen and then manipulate the image from there. Aha. Uh -huh. Think before you post. That Absolutely. is the big message. Absolutely. And you expect this of adults, but kids, this is a big lesson to learn. I expect kids who are learning to make mistakes, and mm -hmm. I get that. That's why I enjoy helping them out. I expect adults to get this. Like, mm -hmm. we should think before we post, and a lot of adults regretfully don't. Absolutely, and there are a lot of methods to have your image out there, Snapchat being one of them, Twitter, Facebook, Correct. all of these things. Correct. Okay, and once it's out there and on someone else's device, you cannot get it back, and the internet does not erase. I should point out that there are some applications, other social media applications called ephemeral applications, mm -hmm. which allow you to send an image and then it disappears off the recipient's device after three, five, seven, ten seconds. Mm -hmm. That's a myth. Really? If someone takes a screenshot of it, it's on their device. If someone uses a third-party app to automatically save the image before it disappears, it's on their device. Plus, from a technological standpoint, which we don't have time to get into, right. that image is still on the device. Okay. Well, if you'd like more information, uh, here it is right here. You're doing some school visits. Arbor Lake, St. Margaret, Bishop Pinkham, George Vanier, as well as Branch and Junior High School. Uh, so you've got a big slew of visits ahead and lots of kids and parents to talk to. Well. You got a stacked deck. I love Calgary. It's my second home. Okay, excellent. More information on our website, breakfasttelevision.ca.